Hey everybody, Model Man here with another update on the paint booth. And things kind of took a bit of a different turn. In the last video, the paint booth was going to be set up in this corner here. And what happened was the static air pressure of the duct over that much of a distance was actually, I mean, going from all the way over here, back around there, actually it went up and around and over. That was too much for it at that length, which was almost 40 feet total. However, at this length, which is probably closer to 10 or 15 feet, both ducts are more than perfect enough to get things going. The way this is set up is this wire can go up here and hook up to that strap for access down here. Over here on the control panel, we got a low power off and then high power. This is an extraneous switch at this point. I had thought it was going to do uh, something that I'll get it to do in the next version of the booth. Over here on what was just going to be the cabinet fan, this is actually running the cabinet fan and the air compressor. And if you've been seeing the previous videos, the air compressor was going to be stored over here, but it makes more sense to have it over there and get a lot more storage space this way. So we'll turn that off. And then the last thing I've just been doing is the work lights. This is the LED strips from uh, the previous paint booth as you can see even these were uh, these were really scrap when I started putting them in just throwaways. So it also shows me that I really need to be able to uh, so this is also showing me that what I really need to do is light it up properly uh, from the start I've got dead spots in the corner there that I'd like to get rid of this wall over here is kinda of dark it's definitely dark along here and there's a good amount of light way way in the back area over this way but definitely need more elsewhere and as you'll see up here with the wiring, this is just connected with a simple uh, male-female DC 5mm uh, jack, which runs out here through the back and down here to another set of plugs because when I need to take the paint booth off of the base, I'm going to need to unplug it, unless there's a lot of extra wire here as well and uh, you'll notice there's also some LED tape on the back here and what that is a little bit of mood lighting what I might do for the next version of the booth is rather than string it across the bands like this which creates bands like that what I'll probably do is run it along the perimeter facing inwards and upwards on the bottom so it creates a halo effect all around with a dead center. We'll see how that goes. And I may some run some underneath here and I have lighting to do down there. But otherwise this is pretty much it. One of the last things I need to buy for the booth is a uh, big clear acrylic uh, plexiglass sheet so that I can keep all the dust out of it when it's not being used. And also, I'm probably going to Velcro some curtains along the bottom there just to keep the dust out of there as well. I've seen what it'll do over time and I'd like to start stop that from the start. So I think that's about it for this video. Nice simple four minutes and uh, hope to be using it very, very soon. Thanks for watching. See ya.